This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or for more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Michelle is back with us this morning with a topic that many of my friends are really in love with and many folks all across the country, not just in Kansas. And that is Laura Ingalls Wilder. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Deb, and good morning to all our viewers. Did you know that Laura Ingalls Wilder had more than one Kansas adventure in her lifetime? Today, let's explore Laura's trek in 1894 through the Sunflower State with her husband, Al Manzo, and their daughter, Baby Rose. On July 17, 1894, Laura, Amanzo, and Rose set out in search of better times in the land of the Big Red Apple. Leaving their South Dakota home and hardships behind, the Wilders were heading for Missouri. Laura's diary, published after her death in 1957, gives us a glimpse into her second Kansas adventure. From 1869 to 1871, Laura lived in a little house on the Kansas prairie south of Independence. Now Laura and her own family set out on a wagon and would once again travel through the Sunflower State. On August 7, 1894, the Wilders crossed from Nebraska into Kansas. Despite hearing good things about Nebraska, Laura remarked, I don't like Nebraska. The first city in Kansas that greeted the Wilders was Marysville along the Blue River. Laura noted a watermill, lovely houses, and two palatial residences, one with a massive brick fence and granite lions crouching on each side of the front gate. By August 13th, the family made their way through the community of St. Mary's. Laura noted, it is altogether Southern and Catholic. She was awed by the beautiful large church with a pure white marble St. Mary above the wide doors. On August 14th, the family arrived in Topeka and stopped for dinner. Laura remarked of Topeka, in North Topeka, the streetcars are electric. The streets are asphaltum pavement, and it is so lovely to drive on. After two days travel, Laura, Almanzo, and Rose arrived in Ottawa in Franklin County. She noted that the men of Ottawa stole the county seat from another town in the night and that the courthouse is quite an imposing building. The next day, the family arrived in Lane and had their horse shod, and Laura commented on the blacksmith's large stone house that was handsome and as fine as anything in Desmet. Continuing their way, the Wilders rolled through Mound City on August 20th around noon. Laura described it as quite a city. There they bought provisions including bread, a pie, and tomatoes. Rolling across the prairies, they reached Fort Scott on August 21st. Laura noted that there were emigrant wagons everywhere. The whole country was on the move. Fort Scott is a bower of trees. The houses look clean and contented. The business buildings are handsome, she wrote. While in Fort Scott, they received three letters and made camp south of town alongside the road. On August 22nd, the Wilders crossed the state line into Missouri at 2.24 and three quarters in the afternoon, ending Laura's second Kansas adventure. Her descriptions of the land, people, and communities of Kansas gives us a look into the life of one of America's most beloved authors. Today, you can visit Laura's Kansas childhood home at the Little House on the Prairie Museum south of Independence, Kansas. I hope you'd enjoyed today's trek back in time, and I hope you'll join me again for another adventure somewhere around Kansas. It's been another great Wednesday morning with you. I appreciate your company. I'm Deb Goodrich, and I'll see you somewhere around Kansas. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com. In 1821, a trade route was opened from Missouri in the United States across prairies and mountains to Mexico. In 2021, we will mark 200 years of epic conflicts and grand adventures, larger than life personalities and sweeping landscapes. Join us on an historic journey. The Santa Fe Trail lives on. Find us on social media or santafetrail.org. Highways 40, 83, and I-70 
come together right here in Oakley. Roads that lead to businesses, to magnificent rock formations, to scenic vistas, to places where legends were made. Roads that lead us home. Discover Oakley, the gateway to western Kansas. Ag Promo Source is a unique group of marketing specialists with one mission, help your ag business grow. Each affiliate has their own area of expertise and they work together to bring you advice, products, and services. To get started, visit agpromosource.com. Ag Promo Source, together we grow. Next time you see a beautiful field of corn, reach out and thank the farmers who work tirelessly to raise corn. For livestock feed, renewable fuels, and exports to feed a growing world population. The farmers on the Kansas Corn Commission work for Kansas Corn with grower-funded checkoff dollars that support foreign and domestic market development, research, promotion, and education to expand opportunities for Kansas farmers. To learn more, visit kscorn.com. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. Valley Vet. 